so much. I appreciate uh, everybody having us. And yes, this is a very important issue. Um, actually, I have some indirect ties to Edenton. My mother-in-law's uh, family is from here. She's a Byron and a Murray. And uh, I love this area. I haven't been back here in quite some time, so thank you for having us. Uh, actually, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to bring Dennis Sparks up, and you'll be hearing from me shortly uh, because I'll be taking over another speaker's segment simply because she just had surgery for an aneurysm. So Nancy Holt could not be with us tonight, uh, but I will be presenting her material. But right now, I'm going to introduce Dennis Sparks. Uh, greetings. Um, I, I have ties to Edenton as well. When I graduated college, they, I went to work for Winn-Dixie and they sent me here to run this store in Edenton and uh, I got married and moved away, but it, it, it's not changed much. That's a good thing in this, this day and time. Um, I, I invested in the waterfront sportsman, uh, Dale Swiggett. You ever had one of those friends that you thought they were just a little crazy, but you just didn't turn them off because they had some validity to what they were saying? That's the way Dale was. I was in Rockingham County, little Mayadan, North Carolina, little mill town. Um, our, you know, all our textiles and tobacco and furniture and everything was leaving us just left and right. And uh, in in '99. Dale was uh, selling the equipment, and we ran into each other, and he says, this is a great building, something needs to happen here, and he delved into the community and found out that our river that we had right there adjoining our mill was the most pristine river left in the southeast. <coughs> there were shellfish and microorganisms living in that river that didn't live anywhere. The, the river started up at Fancy Gap, Virginia, and didn't hit any towns until it come to Mayadam. You know, I said, I thought, well, all that's well and good, but when we got to looking at it and investigating it, uh, end result, we now have the newest state park in North Carolina right there adjoining that mill, and we have great plans to renovate the mill into a destination point. But that's how all this come about. I'm also a developer. I was hitting roadblocks, things didn't seem right and we felt like there was a platform for a, you know a fair and honest balanced situation with our environment and we were seeing mega corporations and politicians and everybody making up the rules as they went and not looking after the big picture and that's what we're trying to do is create a conscience kind of a good housekeeping seal for our environment from, from, a, from an every man standpoint. I'm going to turn it over to Dale. Uh, Dale, um, uh, we have to have him back tonight at midnight. <laughs> they, we just, just got him out from Dorothy and Dix or something like that. I brought, I brought Dennis down because he's one of the best saxophone players. He's also the manager of the Hoppers Gospel Group. They're just getting ready to leave to go to Europe, and Dennis was going to come out tonight and do a little Kenny G through the crowd. <laughs> Didn't have quite that much room to work with, so we, we left the horn in the in the in the car. Um, 